So Joe Biden's old, incompetent, and losing to Donald Trump in eight of the last 10 polls. But RFK Jr. is running as an independent, and if he keeps up his momentum, Biden could lose to Trump and RFK Jr. Look at this poll. Trump's up eight on Biden, and RFK Jr.'s at 21%. There hasn't been an independent candidate who's been this big of a threat in 30 years. With RFK Jr.'s recent polling numbers, he's on track to be on the debate stage alongside Biden and most likely Trump. The last time this happened, Ross Perot drew blood on stage with Bush and Clinton. Well, they've got a point. I don't have any experience in running up a $4 trillion debt. <laughs> I don't have any experience in gridlock government where nobody takes responsibility for anything and everybody blames everybody else. I don't have any experience in creating the worst public school system in the industrialized world, or the most violent crime-ridden society in the industrialized world. <laughs> Kennedy's on pace to play spoiler, but maybe he could play an even more significant factor. People actually like him. He has better favorability ratings than any of the candidates running. He's almost as likable as Jesse Waters. John Stockton joins me now. All right, Stockton. Who are you endorsing? Well, I think it's obvious now I'm here to endorse Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And why is that? I think it's, it's a rare opportunity to have a candidate like him available in the first place, but it never has it been more important. I mean, we're more divided than ever. We've been more distrustful of government than ever. We've had more things jammed down our throats that aren't even legal than has ever happened in maybe in the history of our country. And here we have a guy here that's a warrior in all categories. He fights for your freedom. He fights for the Constitution. He's always the most intelligent person in the room. Um, if you haven't had a chance to hear him speak, uh, I highly recommend it. Because you can be a doubter, and then you hear him speak, and you say, wow, there's something to that, man. And uh, I'm a big fan. I can tell you are a big fan because you're not really a political guy. Is this the first major political foray for John Stockton? Yeah, I don't know if I'm foraying out into the political world. I, it's the first time I've ever announced. I, I've always tried to keep my voting private, and I probably um, try to keep it pretty balanced historically. But again, this is a rare opportunity. It's uh, When you speak to Robert, you hear a guy that doesn't divide you in the first place. He listens. He wants to learn. I heard a thing he did with the farmers the other day where he talked on a podcast forever, and he's asking and learning. He went down to the border. He's asking and learning. And uh, every time he comes away, he comes away a little bit smarter, and a little bit more presidential. Now, as a great athlete, do you respect the fact that he rips his shirt off and knocks out 50 push-ups? Is that part of the deal here? Well, I, I, I got to think that job's good. Yeah, first of all, I respect anybody that can do that, athlete or not. But secondarily, the strength and stamina to, to hold that office, I think, it's, uh, I think it's really important to keep your body and your mind very sound and uh, clearly... I mean, that's, that's a pretty good, pretty well-conditioned 66-year-old or whatever he is. So, uh, yeah, I'm impressed. All right. Well, I'm impressed by you. I think everybody watching has been impressed with your career. I grew up watching you. Great player. Maybe, maybe you'll run for Senate one day out there. We'll see if this is just a tease. <laughs> well, that, that would surprise me probably more than you, but you just <laughs> never know in this world. It's getting a little goofy out there, and you just never know what, what you're called to do. All right, it is getting goofy. Thank you so much, John Stockton, everybody. Have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And you. Thanks, Jesse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.